Kia ora tefano. Welcome to New Frontiers, Te Tuhuranuku. Uh, this is our sixth New Frontiers that we have held. Uh, this gathering was born uh, in the Aroha Valley community in Wetmans Valley, uh, just over the Wallaceville Hills, uh, protected under the Rimutaka Ranges and surrounded by Mangaroa River. Um, and the spirit of New Frontiers has been about emergence. Uh, what is this to emerge when we bring together uh, an incredible group of humans who have a deeper sense of purpose for a better world? Uh, and this is that spirit of emergence that has birthed the Edmund Hillary Fellowship. It is as a gathering like this that uh, EHF was born and the reason why many of us are here uh, exists. Uh, and so we are bringing that spirit to this space, to this environment. I know emergence can sometimes feel uncomfortable and new, but I invite you to, to find your comfort with it. Um, what is EHF? Uh, EHF started as a, a, a movement for change, a movement for uh, social, environmental, economic and cultural impact. Uh, and leveraging the unique capabilities of our Aotearoa New Zealand as an incubation nation. We have four pillars for EHF. One of the strong pillars is Sarad, a humble beekeeper from just outside of Auckland who did the impossible. But he spent all of that fame, all of that acknowledgement and, and environments that he was gifted to serve and to be a humble human on this planet as a global citizen. And he is a big pillar for this Kopapa, this vision that I brought us all together. A second pillar for EHF is the spirit of entrepreneurship. And for us, entrepreneurship means about taking what is possible bold visions for a better world and turning that into reality. And that's how we have gathered together as a group of change makers from so many different walks of life. A third pillar for EHF, as we experienced this morning and you'll continue to experience, is deeply rooted indigenous wisdom that comes from the land and the space that we're in. And with that pillar, I deeply acknowledge our, our partners, Tia Tiawa Taranaki Fanui, for holding this environment, holding this space for us to do the work that we do. And not just the space for these gatherings and, and, and meetings, but also space for our visions for change can actually connect with the land, can connect with the wills and desires of the people for a two-way exchange so that we can co-create a better world here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. A fourth pillar of EHF is our relationship with government. And that is important because it provides a platform for bringing about change at a scale level, affecting so much of the land and the people that we're in, and providing models and prototypes for other governments around the world to also uh, uh, take advantage of, uh, copy or learn from. And so as part of this, ecosystem as part of this movement of change, we are here to feed the fire that, that is burning. We are here to bring the stewardship of resources that we have, of our time, skills, energies, uh, finances, so that we're pouring rain, like we've been doing over the last few days, for the seeds that are being planted to grow. We're joining here to feed this movement with our full presence and our full attention. And so with that in mind, we're capable to build a very rich ecosystem of change. And that is really the movement that was birthed at New Frontiers. And this is the movement you have all decided to say yes to and be part of. Six months ago, we had New Frontiers in this space here. And a lot has happened since then our community of fellows has grown to 108 individuals from 25 nationalities, and 27% of that community are Kiwis. 
as Brother Matthew shared earlier, we just welcome Copa Copa, our third cohort, 42 incredible change makers who survived the crazy winds and rains Wellington can offer in a very short period of time, built strong bonds with one another, and created a platform for even deeper level of change that can happen in this community. In the last six months, we helped set really strong foundations for a partnership with our iwi partners, Tia Tia Taranaki Fanui. And it's just been incredible momentum and movement to looking at what it means to be doing immigration with iwi. This is very much uncharted territory. 200,000 people come to Aotearoa, New Zealand. And what our iwi partners have helping us do is create a model for what it actually means to arrive to this place as a visitor and someone who's bringing new cultures, new perspectives and new ideas and marry that with the wisdom and knowledge that exists here. So we're very, very excited about that. We're seeing a lot of critical mass and very interesting and exciting opportunities amongst the fellowship community that we have. We're seeing critical mass in the environmental space. A lot of fellows working in planetary uh, stewardship and, and environmental restoration. We're seeing strong critical mass in the work of blockchain innovations and how the movement around Web 3.0 is going to help influence so much of the work that we do. We're seeing incredible critical mass around education and transforming our education systems. We're seeing incredible critical mass around uh, the space industry and how many new doors that's going to help create. We're seeing critical mass around storytelling and what the power is to help develop new possibilities that we help create through the work that we do. And we're seeing a lot of critical mass in the work of social justice and inclusivity that many fellows are bringing to this program. Now, I can list down a lot of impact areas that we're seeing happening in this community, but I'd just like to point your attention to three uh, highlight ones that we've seen in the last six months. One of the interesting things we had here was Johan Rockström last year from the Stockholm Resilience Center. And there was a lot of education around planetary boundaries and what that framework can be useful for a country like Aotearoa New Zealand. And we're very excited for all the momentum that's building around that and trying to make that a possibility for how New Zealand tackles climate change and tackles environmental restoration by utilizing a planetary boundaries framework for that work. We're seeing a lot of momentum around blockchain policy and creating holistic environments for blockchain innovations to thrive here. At last New Frontiers, we had a group of fellows and government individuals sat around a table uh, that uh, that conversation led to a, a piece of paper being written to inform the policy environment as well as the innovation community around the potentials of blockchain, and we hope to have that released very soon. Several of our fellows from Kawakawa, the first cohort that was just accepted into the program uh, just about a year ago, uh, they helped develop a national space challenge. And that was incredibly successful, and they're doing it again with a strong emphasis on agriculture, which is a strong area of importance for Aotearoa New Zealand. The list goes on, and I highly encourage you to connect with our fellows in our community to have a better understanding of some of the areas of impact that is emerging even in a short period of time. But for us, we're here to work on the long-term vision and, and impact that this community can create. And we strongly believe there's a lot of work to do over the next few months, years, and decades. So, why are we here today? Uh, I spoke to somebody else uh, earlier today who was asking himself that question as well. First, we're here to welcome Cohort 3, to hear their visions and find opportunities to collaborate with them. We're here to lay the foundation and to start the conversation of economic transformation. It's such a big and uphill climb for all of us, as a community, as a nation, to be tackling this ginormous challenge of what it means to be moving beyond the paradigm of growth at all costs, to be moving beyond the paradigm of 
extracting as much as we can from our planet and putting very little back and creating the imbalance that we have today. Even very specifically in the entrepreneurial space, the challenge that we have of getting all the brightest minds that we have in Aotearoa and then shipping them overseas so that their visions can come to reality. We don't have the answers for what economic transformation is. I don't think many people do. But we're here with the intention to start building the foundation, to start the conversations around what is possible in that space. We're here to be exposed to new ways of thinking. If you look around, there's so many diverse minds, perspectives, so many nationalities and, 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 and identities that are brought here. And as you'll see with the work of our fellows, incredibly diverse set of ideas and visions that are being explored. So we're here to explore what is possible. New ways of thinking, new ways of seeing things. And with that in mind, I invite you to put aside for the next three days some of the underlying assumptions that we've been holding for so long of how things work so that we create a space, an open environment to think and create and imagine and collaborate around new possibilities. As you can see in many of your name tags here, you have co-create because you're here to co-create this event with us. Our job as EHF is to till the soil. Your job is to plant the seeds and help them grow. So this is a platform for all of us. Now the work is for all of us to co-create the experience that will be enriching and enlightening for all of us in this journey. Welcome to New Frontiers. I really hope you have a great time here. And let's connect. Let's, let's go really deep. I encourage you to, to not just talk about who are you, what do you do, what are your professions, and so many of the ways of networking that we're all amazing at. Let's go a little deeper than that. Let's connect at a human level. Let's connect to the space and, and the visions that drive all of us. And it is with that that we can strongly believe that we can create the better world that we know is possible. Kia ora tato.